Okay, now I've got my uh, inert gas hooked up. I got that tiny little flow through this hose. Now I'm taking this one off of the low side. I'm going to open this up. I listen again to where I am getting some flow. It's not, I don't think it's even going to read on this. Uh, I'll put this in here so I've got uh, inert gas flowing through the system at a very, very low pressure. And at this point, I'm going to set up my uh, equipment to start doing my brazing. Now, I've got to do a braze here for this cap tube. I've got to do a braze here uh, for this suction line. Uh, and actually, that's the, uh, yeah, it is the suction line. And I've got one here I've got to do. Now, what I try to do when I begin this is I try to start at one end and go to the other. Now, in this case, I can't do that very well because I don't have everything uh, hooked up. I don't have the, the uh, indoor coil on it or anything. Uh, but I'd like to start at one end and move to the other if I can. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Now, I'm brazing. What I'm brazing with is 15% silphos. Silphos is only good for copper. It's a very high temperature. Uh, product and it does beautiful work on copper. It, uh, I don't think I've ever had one of them leak unless it leaked right away. It didn't pop a leak later on or anything like that. Uh, maybe I'm just lucky, who knows. But the uh, the 15%, like I said, 15% is the only one I use. There's a 5% and there's a 0%. And the percent is uh, silver. It's real expensive stuff. Okay, I don't care. I'm using the 15%. Most of my stuff is on used tubing. It's got to be cleaned up. You notice I've cleaned all my uh, joints and, and stuff, sanded them all down. Uh, so that... I've got clean copper there. The high temperature of the silphos does burn off a lot of contaminants, but on old tubing, it's not a good idea uh, to do it without cleaning it up. So uh, I've had more leaks with 5% and 0% that just drove me nuts, cost me far more to do the work because I kept having to go back for leaks. So 15% is it, that's all I use. Probably just because I'm a crotchety old guy. Okay, now I usually do not use any kind of small flame or a low acetylene flame. I usually put pretty much my hottest flame on there and I just move fast. The faster you move, the faster you move, the less you overheat. So if I heat them up fast, then I'm past them and I don't overheat the joint. Okay, starting right here. So far, follows the heat. So wherever it's hot, the so far goes. The 
See, I'm moving through these things pretty fast. Now I want to heat them and get out. You can burn holes this way, but it's all just a learning process. Okay, we got it.